Good morning, good morning, and a happy good morning to you. Welcome to the Royalty Talk Table. Without further introduction, my name is Portia Basham. I'm the founder of the Royalty Ladies, and it is indeed an honor to sit with you, have a lovely cup of tea, and to chat about the Word of God today. Well, my topic is simple today. My topic is about being overwhelmed. I have vouched, I, could, I am overwhelmed. Everybody could talk about the fact that they are overwhelmed. But the Word of God says in 2 Corinthians 12, 9, it says that my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in your weakness. Isn't that awesome? His power is made perfect in our weakness. So when we go through our normal responsibilities of getting our kids ready for school or taking care of the home or trying to maintain our jobs and also maintain our Christian life. We have to take into consideration that in our weakness, His grace is sufficient. That is awesome. Well, God loves us. And because He loves us, He enjoys using just the ordinary people like you and me to do extraordinary things. So my question for you today, are you allowing your weakness and your fears to stop you from doing the great things that the Lord has called you to do? You know, we tend to think that we, our responsibilities, our kids, our home, our family, our jobs, that is all we're responsible for. But really and truly it's not. Well, the Lord adds to that because he calls us into ministry. And by the time he throws that into the mix in our mind, we are now really overwhelmed. But it's okay. I think if we put God first, because the word of God says that we seek he first the kingdom of God and everything else adds onto it. So if we do the Lord's work first, I am a strong believer that he will take care of everything else. He loves us. He wants the best for us. And we should not think of anything other than that. You know, I have a question for you. Have you given your life to Christ? Have you let the Lord be your Lord and Savior today? If not, this is a good opportunity to do that. The Word of God says in Romans, if you declare with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe with your heart, God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So you know what? Why don't we say a prayer today? Dear Lord, I know you're the only way to salvation and to heaven. And I believe you are the son of God, Jesus. And I want you in my life. I repent of my sins. In Jesus name, amen. Just like that, your sins are forgiven. Do you know that the Lord will never give you more than you could handle? So when you're going for your normal day of routine, being a mother, being a wife, being a sister, being a daughter, being a friend, and don't forget, being an employee or an employer, it does get overwhelming. But my God will never leave you. So go with that today. God's love, God's faithfulness, His grace to see your day through. Ask God. You know, the Word of God says, we have not for we ask not. Ask God to help you prioritize your day. Put things into perspective. Maybe we're taking things on that are not necessary and we could put our time into other places. Don't ever listen to those who say, you can't. And if we start to find ourselves having the feeling of we can't accomplish something, take a step back and think about what God would do. What would Jesus do in that time? If we spend time with the Lord on first thing in the morning, I believe our day is going to be beautiful. That doesn't mean you won't have obstacles in your way. Yes, you will. But guess what? He is more than able to make you smile in times when you know it is not a smiling matter. But God is good and his mercies are everlasting. So you go ahead and have a blessed day today. As we say, friendship, tea, and fellowship. It's a fabulous combination. You'll be blessed and we'll see you next week at the Royalty Top Tuesday.